Nem tudtam jobbat kitalálni. Did you have a better idea than to give a summary of this quantum mechanics session and his essay on quantum mechanics? There's a big hype around it. The institution has just issued it, and every panel wanted to get a glimpse at it. So, in the following few minutes, I'm going to try to give you a subjective interpretation of the issue. Basically, this is about a bubble, which is also which also features in human adventure, and which claims that in order to defend yourself from this fantastic big universe which we refer to as a civilization and you can be free and where you can feel certain and safe and this is only my subjective opinion sometimes these bubbles uh, start changing and if new uh, hungry civilizations come along and then we get in, we, we are in trouble and these bubbles get um, they pop out basically. So let's refer to this as the bubbles of modernity and this is about to explode as well. Hanke says or writes that the great thinkers of the, 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 the 20th century uh, they were very much afraid of this bubble being exploding uh, and uh, they were afraid that this might um, might, might really out and, and Actually, I was very much afraid that this bubble will burst, so I'm supposed to be a great thinker as well. Anyway, how can we solve these big problems? Uh, I don't know, maybe by means of some sort of cooperation. But how do we get to quantum mechanics? Well, one of the most typical and most particular issues is the issue of conscious. And Paul Davies says that the universe has realized uh, uh, about its own knowledge by way of uh, becoming conscious. And Hawking says that many thinkers, many fantastic thinkers uh, will prove by means of quantum mechanics that the human conscious has a cosmic significance. Honkish also adds a few perspectives. Uh, he also says that denial could be another issue. It means when a sewing machine and umbrella meet on the operation table. Um, also an issue of uh, neutrality. Um, and the third one is uh, that conscious, when your conscious is split, basically, and you don't know uh, whether something should be purely religious or purely philosophical. So I actually don't believe that any of the three um, should have too much to do with this, but I'm not an expert on quantum mechanics. What does Hunkish write about us? Well, I think he, we, we, it, it's a fantastic idea to explore the universe's uh, mathematical tenets and how the, these hidden harmonies can be discovered uh, via the interpreting of the mathematical uh, uh, complexities. Uh, yesterday I had the pleasure of listening to Vijay's uh, music accompanying Hankish's words which uh, well, he started to say that he was lost, he was loitering, he was wandering and it was a, an, an interesting game that we played yesterday with the music and Hankish's words. And the consequences, which I also tried to sum up about Hankish's words on quantum mechanics, it basically says that the word has become so complex, so complicated, 
and although we can describe the world with mathematical language, with um, the language of physics, with the language of um, of, uh, of other natural sciences, but it's it's um, it's something that um, might be too much for people, both for their intellectual and emotional energy. Uh, they might be eaten up by this kind of uh, approach, trying to uh, interpret these ideas.